What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. The wait is finally over. Today we're going to be unboxing the actual Gravedigger SMT-10. Now I got this truck well over a week ago and it's been killing me not having the time to go ahead and unbox it, but today's the day. Now this is a 2020 updated version. We're going to go over some of the changes that they did and show you guys why this truck's going to be better out of the box this time around. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. Right off the bat, we'll go ahead and show you guys the front of the box, which is really nicely detailed. You can see they got their Monster Jam badge up there. You see the graphics on the front of the box look really good. It makes the Grave Digger truck kind of stand out. I've been staring at this box for about a week, and it's been killing me every day not unboxing it. All right, now to the side of the box, we get into the good stuff, go into a bit more detail. It's got multiple shock mounting positions, a rear sway bar, and you can see they kept the BKT Monster Jam tires. Now this, in my opinion, is the best upgrade that they did to this truck so far. The old actual SMT-10s had plastic gears in their transmission. Well, this one, the updated version, they put all metal gears, which is a nice upgrade. It should make this truck a lot stronger, at least on the transmission side of things. You can see the SMT-10 has a tube frame chassis, and you can just see the detail in that. I have to tell you guys, being a huge fan of Monster Jam, this is really a treat. I've always wanted an RC Monster Truck, and I'm happy my first one is a Legend Grave Digger. You can see it has a Grave Digger replica body. Man, the body looks like it has a lot of nice detail in it. I'm really liking that. From what I'm seeing on the box, it's almost too nice to, to run the truck with. Now, am I going to run the truck with this body? You know, I, I don't know. We'll have to see once we, get, once we get it opened here and see how good that body actually looks. Because it would be a shame to scratch it up. You can see they got a little glow in the dark uh, driver there. Also hydraulic ram style steering links. Now being a fan of monster trucks and also mud trucks, I'm, I'm curious to check this setup out. It looks really cool so I can't wait to get in there and see what that's all about. It's got AR60 axles, which is pretty cool. I wonder if they're calling them 60s because of Dana 60s. Not for sure, but that would be kind of cool. Even though they don't run Dana 60s in monster trucks, but. And then you can see trailing arm, rear suspension. Those are pretty cool. I want to check out the links and the shocks. Now moving along to the other side of the box, we have the electronic side. Which the electronics in this truck are Spectrum. Now the controllers are Spectrum STX2. Now I'm not real familiar with this transmitter, but once we get inside, I'll definitely let you guys know how it looks and feels and also how it performs once we get a chance to test it out. Now another nice upgrade, it has a Spectrum all metal gear servo. I'm glad I don't have a plastic gear servo because I went through a ton of those in the past. And then also it comes with a dynamite brushed ESC. It's good for a motor down the 12 turns running on 2S LiPo. You can see they got their Spectrum receiver. Another nice upgrade is the 550 size 12 turn motor. I'm really curious how fast this truck's going to be, especially running on 2S. And then going down, you see they got the Grave Digger on this side as well. And you can see the rims are 2.2 size rims, which I am surprised they didn't go for something like 2.6 or 2.8 for being a monster truck. But we'll have to wait and see on how good they look on the actual truck. But you can see they're really wide for those wide BKTs. But now let's go ahead and get on to the good stuff. Let's get this box open. Go ahead and cut the seals here. Turn it around so you guys can see it. Have no idea what side of the truck we're gonna get. Open that up. Oh, right off the bat we got the, looks like the instruction manual. Well, even that instruction manual looks really good on the front. Makes that Grave Digger truck really pop out. Then we got a whole bunch of goodies here. Looks like we got a lot of spare parts, which is always a good thing. Go ahead and go through that later. And now it looks like the controller. Let's go ahead and check this out here.
it actually it actually doesn't feel too bad the steering feels nice uh, I am a little disappointed that it didn't come with a little piece of foam right here like most of them do but overall it feels kind of nice you got some adjustments here it looks like the for the tr throttle trim if you want to let your kid drive it or something to kind of slow it down put it on that that setting and you also got your steering trim and your throttle trim hmm. overall I guess not a bad bad controller for a, a ready to run truck but for how it performs we won't know that until we actually know, run the truck so that will definitely be in a future video all right now for the main event let's go ahead and get the truck out set this box to the side wow that thing looks awesome you guys wow I'm actually kind of surprised these Chevron style tires they actually have feels like they got foam in them which I was surprised by that I wasn't for sure if they they were just foamless or if they actually had foam but they got foam they feel really nice I'm gonna go ahead and get it taken out of this and we'll check it out even further wow look at all the detail in that body overall this truck looks amazing and I have to say I'm still surprised about these Chevron style tires I didn't think there were going to be any foam in them but they feel like they got foam and they feel really nice it's got some plastic film over the body but to be honest I don't even know if I want to remove that this body looks so clean I definitely don't want to scratch it up so it's going to be really hard to run this thing with the body and if I do I'll definitely be a little more careful because that body really looks too nice to get all scuffed up but all right let's go ahead and get this body off you see the top of the body from the front of it going down you see the flames got a grave digger on the roof four time champion bad to the bone I gotta say grave digger is bad to the bone with all the detail of this truck man it is really nice I really can't believe that I didn't pick up this truck sooner but I'm glad I didn't because I'm glad I got the updated version with the metal gears and the transmission that thing just looks super nice now a couple things in this goodie bag worth worth noting is you got some sponsor plates put them on the side right there just like the real monster trucks put your stickers on them which we'll, we'll definitely be doing that and in the box you see you got a chrome supercharger there so you can put the supercharger on top of the motor I'm not sure yet if the motor has a supercharger on it and that's just a spare but we're gonna find that out now let's go ahead and fill the suspension wow the suspension feels really nice it feels like the the rear suspension is a little softer than the front well that's kind of nice though so it's probably gonna squat when we go ahead and take off just like a real monster truck go ahead and pull the body pins here It's kind of nice. I got a little pad here where you could hold on and pull the clips off. Wow, I definitely can't get over that body. I have a feeling this body's going to be a shelf queen. That's just too nice. All right, we'll go ahead and show you guys that tube chassis really nice and really scale like a real monster truck one of the things I noticed it came with that supercharger and I wonder if it came with the um, plastics to put together a little motor because there's just the you see just the headers in there there's no motor back there see the driver in there just chilling ready to do some monster truck action now I was checking out the, the steering the servo looks really nice and it's all metal gear so it should be be pretty strong this whoops if we focus in there this imitation hydraulic link setup I'm not too sure about is plastic but it, it it seems like it's fairly it seems like it's not gonna really hold up that well but time will tell on that for sure if it don't hold up we'll definitely be going something stronger but it just feels pretty light duty see the solid axles in there now I know 
these axles when you're when you're doing some pretty serious bashing tend to break on the on the tube right here so we're going to see what we can do to strengthen that up because we're definitely going to be testing this truck out you see the links for the suspension it has really nice shocks they appear to be aluminum go ahead and turn this truck around oh yeah you see the sway bars on the back of the truck here yeah the suspension feels really soft and it seems to be flexing pretty good for having the sway bars back there right on you see the triangulated four link back there you see the motor the transmission wow what a nice truck you guys i'm definitely liking it now go ahead and check out looks like your receiver is going to be right up front there it's supposed to be sealed in, in waterproof electronics then when you go back here looks like you got your battery tray right there you slide in your your battery and it looks like they're running the EC3 connector here which I don't know if I'm going to change that connector because I don't have any batteries with EC3 connector so I don't know if I'm going to change the connector here or maybe just pick up a couple extra batteries specifically for this truck and you can see it's hard to see in there but you can see the 550 style 12 turn motor kind of hidden in there and the ESC let's see is sitting right, right underneath the driver right there Wow, I have to say I can't I can't stress enough how much I like this truck. This truck is awesome. Go ahead and put the connector back for the battery tray. That back in there. Alright you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. But I have to tell you I'm having a lot of fun just looking at this truck. I can only imagine how much fun I'm gonna have driving it. I am also really curious on how fast the truck's going to be, especially with that 12 turn 550 size motor running on 2S. I am super excited about this truck. I think it's a great addition to my collection. We're also going to be doing a few upgrades. We'll probably put some metal sleeves in the axle tubes just to kind of solve that little weak point where everyone has where they're breaking that long tube on the axle. I definitely can't wait to get this truck out and run it. I hope you guys liked the video. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to smash that little f notification bell so you guys are notified every time I drop a new video. Thank you.